uh, DBN Nation, uh, of course. Support DBN Nation. You hear it from Floyd Money Mayweather. What's going on? This is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder. My name is Gennady Golovkin. And you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. What's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Dante's Boxing Nation. This is AK slash Aki reporting. If you're trying to get smarter by the minute, subscribe below. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't listen to these casual ass fans. But before we get a rolling, I just want to say a little side note. Dante gave me the opportunity to post on his platform every now and then to share my thoughts and opinion. So I just want to get that cleared. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, that will be in the description box below. But while you at it, show love and support to Dante's Cooking Nation and also Dante's Travel Nation. But let's get straight to it. So rumors have it that Floyd Money Mayweather will be returning to the ring to face Adrian Broner in December as a tune-up, then face Manny Pacquiao in 2019. Now to me, Adrian Broner fight is not a tune-up. However, it's a really huge fight and it's even possibly bigger than the Manny Pacquiao rematch because Floyd and AB been having beef and why not get in the ring and get that off your chest? I know Floyd gonna be the favorite, but I believe that Adrian Broner might give Floyd Mayweather a tougher fight than Manny Pacquiao would at this point. Because Adrian Broner is in his prime, he will train the hardest, and he definitely will let his hands go. He better after talking all that shit and not back it up. I mean, it will make him look bad because he is coming out in public addressing it over and over while Floyd Mayweather ain't saying nothing back. He's just telling him like, leave me alone. So it makes Adrian Broner look bad because it's like it seemed like he's chasing Floyd for no reason. Like, why are you so obsessed with Floyd Mayweather? And fight night, if you can't get off your chest and let your hands go, then you're hurting your public image, period. But this fight is huge. I think it will do like 2 million pay-per-views, probably even more. And if they promote this fight like they should and they start exposing each other, because this fight going to get ugly in the press conference, I know that. I feel like Adrian Broner will take it there. But fight night, you still gotta pick Floyd, even though he haven't fought in so long. You know, he's 41 probably by the time he fights Adrian Broner, he probably 42. However, I feel like he still got that sharp mind where he could still beat Adrian Broner, but it's still risky. And Floyd haven't fought since 2015, if you being honest. And that's been three years since his last real fight. Because the Conor McGregor fight, he knew he was just going to beat his ass. He didn't even train hard for that fight. We all knew Floyd just robbed the bank in that fight. So, that's that. But on the other hand, Barbara Shop came out today and said that he heard that Manny Pacquiao signed with Al Heyman. And he was told that Al Heyman trying to set up Adrian Broner versus... Manny Pacquiao in December and the winner gets to fight Floyd now I love that idea too and I feel like that's the fight I've been calling for for the longest and at this point of Pacquiao career can he really be Adrian Broner and if he can that hypes up the Floyd Mayweather fight and if Adrian Broner is able to beat Manny Pacquiao at this point I feel like then people gonna be like oh he actually has a shot to beat Floyd because it been a minute since Floyd had a real fight. It's not like he's better than Floyd. We all know he's not. But because he beat Manny Pacquiao and Floyd is older than Manny Pacquiao and haven't fought in so long and he been inactive, he probably lost it. Now, there are two things that are undefeated. Father Tom and Floyd Mayweather. Can Floyd Mayweather beat Father Tom? Honestly, I believe he could still be Adrian Broner after the tune-up, especially if Floyd has a tune-up. Now, if he doesn't have a tune-up, that might be a little risky, but he might have a real fight in the gym, so who knows? Now, like I said, Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner, that's a hell of a fight. I know that been building for the longest. So if it do happen next, who are you picking to win that fight? Because Manny Pacquiao still have it a little bit, and Adrian Broner will come correct and will train the hardest for that fight knowing what's at stake so in my opinion i still favor manny pacquiao a little bit because he's a pressure fighter and adrian Broner don't like pressure fighters especially a softball like manny pacquiao and he still got you know pretty good hand speed 
So subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't and listen to these casual ass fans. And which fight would you rather see first? AB versus Floyd or AB versus Pacquiao? Peace.